Have you ever had that experience when you think, I've got this. I'm going to make this work. And you go for it. You up your game. But then something happens. You take a hit. You're knocked down by the unexpected, and you don't know how to get back up. Let me take you back to October 16, 2010, game day at Carlson Stadium, Luther College, my freshman year. I'm face down in the grass, motionless. I can't get up. I've been to a lot of sporting events, and for me personally, I've never seen a time when the athlete couldn't acknowledge the crowd. But now if I could go back, and if I was able to, I would like to have been the first athlete to ever give a thumbs down. <laughs> Not doing so good. <laughs> you can all quit clapping now. <laughs> The first conversation I had was with my surgeon, and he tells me, Chris, you have a 3% chance of ever regaining any feeling or movement back below the neck. And I was stunned. How could this be? I was just this independent athlete, and now I'm completely immobile, dependent on everything. And not just a 3% chance to walk again, a 3% chance to move, a 3% chance to feel anything. I'm not gonna lie with you, when I heard those 3% odds, I was determined that I'm gonna do whatever it takes to be that 3%. I'm here with you today because what I discovered is that we all have the ability to stand back up and to stand back up stronger than ever before. My spinal cord injury didn't completely ruin my life as I imagined it would. In fact, it's provided me with more opportunities that previously were inconceivable. So I'm gonna share with you my keys that I did, that anyone can do, that take you from wherever you are to a place that even exceeds your imagination today. Someone who gives me inspiration every single day is my fiance, Emily. We're uh, getting married now, and I want to share with you my next goal, which is to walk seven yards down the aisle with her by my side after we're married. And so this is a goal I'm working three to four hours a day, five times a week. But I know it's worth it because I know who I'm doing it for. I want to bring up Brooks as I do my closing remarks. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'd like to challenge each and every one of you to continue to stand up. The last seven years, you know, what I've learned are applicable to each and every one of you. Anything is possible. Thank you so much for bringing me today. Thank you. Thank you. Your future will take care of itself when you take care of today.